Okay, day six on my 10 day juice fast. And uh, today was a challenging day. Um, I did not start out with orange pineapple and that might have been the problem. I started out with, I had the uh, carrot kale beet juice and it's really good and I really enjoyed it. And uh, later in the morning I added more carrots to it. But I believe that when I start with that real sugar boost of OJ and pineapple and then move into the carrots, it's a little better strategy for me. Um, I had a lot of work to do. I was doing a lot of yard work. I planted some grass and planted some bulbs and fertilized some of the yard and a little compost in there. A lot of stuff and um, I was trying to get that done today and also we had a movie night here at the party at the house so I had to get ready, ready for the party. And having been doing so much juicing, you know, the, the kitchen is pretty much a mess. And because I live in a small house, I actually juice right behind me, which is where party night was going to be held. So, um, and I had to get myself cleaned up after, you know, being in the yard and everything. And um, so with all that, uh, right before party night, I decided to juice a mess of tomato juice because I thought that my husband and his friend were going to be eating tacos, and I thought it was going to be a long movie night. As it turned out, it wasn't. You know, we just watched the movie, and, and then Gary's friend had to leave. And Gary, Gary brought some potato olays from Taco John's with sour cream and hot sauce. And so while I was doing the, the tomato juice, and I was very stressed, I looked in the cabinet and I saw the walnuts and I had three small pieces of walnuts. And then I thought, this is not good. What I really wanted to do was go to the local coffee shop and get a cup of chai, which is really cheating, really cheating. But I didn't have time. So I thought, what can you do? Because I was feeling too juicy. It's like there's some times when I just feel like juice logged. And so I thought, well, what do you do? Well, what I usually do is have broth. So I um, had some broth and I put some hot, you know, sauce in there. And um, that did it. That just did it. It stopped it. And I also had, I also have, sometimes I'll have some bread and butter pickles. I haven't done that for a long time. And I made some homemade ones in the refrigerator. And I thought, well, I'm curious, how do they taste? Are they as good as commercial? Well, they weren't. They're, they're just pretty terrible. But I had two of those. I chopped them up. So that was my cheat. That was my cheat. Oh, yeah. And then I had um, a glass of Swiss Miss hot chocolate um, while they were watching the movie, while we were watching the movie. So, and that was, that. so there was a lot of failure around that. But it wasn't terrible failure. I mean, I didn't have any potato olays. You know, and uh, although I did when I <laughs> there with the container, there were little crumbs left, and I did kind of take them with my finger and taste the crumbs. Yeah, I did that. But <laughs> but the reality is, I'm getting such good results in terms of weight loss and feeling more trim, and and you know keeping towards this goal that um, even with that fail, I know that I'm in a um, trend of success. The other thing that occurred to me today was it would be nice if when I go, when I start to go off the rails and gain weight, if I could just remember the trouble that it takes to take the weight off. It's not easy. It's really hard. And it takes a tremendous amount of perseverance and stick to itiveness. And it's just, it's just terrible. <laughs> I mean, it, it's okay. It's just, it's really hard. So it would be nice if I could just have this memory in my head. And when I get stressed and I start eating, I, um, I just have that awareness. You know, I ha never have in the past. You know, it's always been yo-yo city for me, although it's yo-yoing in a better direction. You know, it's like I keep a lid on it.
which is the important part. So anyway, tonight I juiced, after the movie night, I juiced um, orange juice and pineapple because I'm going to church tomorrow morning. And, and if I sleep, if I oversleep and I have to leave quickly, I want to have that orange juice pineapple. I have a, a lot of tomato juice in the refrigerator and I'll probably have that for another couple days. And I still have some of the beet carrot left. So I have a lot in the bag, which is good because like all day long, I was getting this stuff done around the house, but I'd have to come in every once in a while and juice, you know? I did the, the tomato juice, and then at one point I did carrot juice, and it's like, and then I had to clean it up, and I had, and then I had to compost. I had a huge amount of compost, and I'm out of dirt now. So I'm, I'm probably going to have to start throwing the stuff out because I just don't have any dirt, and it's, it's too late in the season, and nobody that I know has any. And the last place I went to that had it, I bought the last of their dirt, topsoil. So, you know, I'm probably just going to have to put this, you know, vegetable matter into the waste stream. So that's that, you know, what are you going to do? So, but, you know, it's day six, so then tomorrow I'll have four more days. And, you know, really the good thing is that I am in activity and like during the day, I'm, I'm just working and I'm not really thinking about it that much. Although I, you know, have the cognizance that you just have to keep juicing. You just have to keep that production line going. So that's how I do it. So that was day six.